Hey, good evening. Welcome to another edition of Contemporary Living with Farmer and Hill. I am one of your hosts, Andre Hill, and tonight we're going to finish up our discussion on preparing your Airbnb during the coronavirus lockdown. So this is part one. I mean, I'm sorry, part two. Hopefully you got a chance to watch part one. Part one, I discussed um, how to start your Airbnb business. I discussed the articles of incorporation. I discussed the EIN number. I also gave you some tips on preparing your home for Airbnb um, and getting ready for your Airbnb as a business. So tonight we're going to I'm going to jump right into it tonight and tonight we're going to be discussing preparing your Airbnb during the coronavirus lockdown but this is going to be part two to the lesson. So in part two we're going to discuss the central Airbnb products and amenities. So we're going to jump right into it. So the first one I'm going to dive into is your bedroom. So one thing about um, Airbnb, if you begin to study Airbnb, if you do your research on it, you'll begin to find out that most people that book Airbnb looks for a king size bed. So if you don't have a king size bed, don't worry about it. You can book with a queen size, full size, twin size bed, that doesn't matter. But typically in the Airbnb search, most people are looking for a king size bed. Now understand this about Airbnb. 80% of the people that stay in your Airbnb spend most of their time in the living room, I mean the bedroom. And most of the people that spend that come and book with your Airbnb, they're typically not at the house except when it's time to go to bed. So they normally are doing tourism, out visiting family and friends, out sightseeing, and things like that. So you want to make sure that your Airbnb and your bedroom is definitely one of your number one priorities when booking with your guests. So one of the things that you want to make sure that you purchase, you want to make sure that you have some allergenic um bed spreads. You want to make sure your, your your sheets are allergenic. You want to make sure that your pillows are allergenic and nice and fluffy, fluffy as well. And this is just because a lot of people, they have allergies. So if you provide this type of um, service to your guests, some uh, pillows and sheets that's high, um, hydroallergenic, then this would be a benefit to you as well. Also, if you can find some, a pillow top, if you can find a pillow top for your bed, this make your bed nice and comfortable. Not saying that your bed is not comfortable, but if you want to add that extra fluffiness to your bed, make it a little bit more comfortable, this is the route to go. Now, me and my wife, a lot of times we do a lot of traveling. We love to stay at the La Quinta, especially like when we go to Indiana, um, because they have those nice pillow tops and they are very, very comfortable. So just remember that there. And also, I recommend for protection that you get a bed bug um, covers. Now, you don't have to, but I always recommend this here to protect from any type of bed bugs. Uh, we haven't had any issues with bed bugs, but as a housing inspector, doing over 10,000 inspections in my lifetime, I have done inspections where there was houses full of bed bugs. So make sure that you add this to um, your inventory as well. And you can go to amazon.com and you can look up all this stuff here and you can find you know, these particular items. Also, I recommend that you have a lamp, a lamp with the um, USB ports to it and with a charger because statistics have shown that 90% of people that's on social media, when they wake up, the first thing they look at is their phone, their Facebook, their social media. So when they're sleeping at night or they just lounging in the bed, when they come stay at one of your Airbnbs, they can have their phones charging up or they can have their, you know, or their laptops as well. Also, if you have a workstation, this would be a plus. You know, workstations are good, especially if somebody's working from home. Um, now, we have a few workstations in our home for our guests. Now, we do give our guests access to our Wi-Fi, but we don't give them access to our computer because our computer has valuable information in it. In it. So normally, well, we cut off our computer. We uh, we'll take our computer cords with us and make sure everything's locked down as well. So just remember that also. And that's if you're hosting out your home. And then also, you want to make sure that you have some type of um, television streaming service for your guests. Now, you don't necessarily have to have the Roku or the Netflix or Amazon Prime, but you want to at least have something where your guests can watch television. And like I said, majority of your guests, they're not going to be at your house anyway. They're going to be out and about doing some tourism. Um, if you want to, don't want to purchase cable, you can always do the live streaming, which is good as well. As we move on, we're gonna move on to your bathroom. Your bathroom is very essential. It is, it is vital to your health, all right, so to speak. This is your uh, this is your bread and butter right here. You wanna make sure that your bathroom is in, uh, it's spick and span. You wanna make sure it's in top shape. So when you're uh, in your bathroom, you wanna make sure that you're cleaning everything. You wanna leave no hairs in the toilet or in the sink or in your tub because this will, damage your Airbnb reputation because people have this pet peeve where they just don't like no hairs left 
in the bathroom, yet alone in your bed as well. Also, make sure that you buy some quality towels and face towels. Um, you don't forget, you're in the hospitality business. You want to make sure that you provide great customer service. Next, I love these here. These floor mats, these are good to have. Um, I was kind of leery about them when my wife first purchased them, but I can honestly, honestly say I love these floor mats. When people get out the tub, this is something nice and comfortable to step on. So this is a plus. You can order these on Amazon as well. Also, soap, and you want to make sure that you have shampoo for your guests. Now, you can buy, now Amazon had these bulks of soap that you can purchase for your guests. Um, I think it's like maybe 100, 150 um, small bars of soap. So you can um, go on Amazon, you go just type in bulk soap, and you can purchase a big box of soap for your Airbnb guests as well. We typically set out um, two in each bathroom, and then um, we have two towels for each guest as well. So if we have four guests each, uh, we'll have a total of eight towels, face towels, and washcloths out for our guests. All right? And then you want to make sure, trust me, that we learned out the hard way. Make sure that you have makeup remover towels because people will use your white towels and you'll find yourself have to throw your white towels away and then purchase some more. So my wife and I made sure that we got some black makeup um, towels so when, when, you know, the women there, they take it off their mascara and stuff like that, they can use the black towels. You don't want them using your white towels because it'll become costly. All right, let's move on to your kitchen. Let's move and look into your kitchen area here. So in your kitchen, you want to make sure that you have a coffee pot. Most people um, that book Airbnb stats have shown they like decaf. So you want to have a variety of um, coffee. I know we have some McDonald's coffee, we have some Starbucks, we have some Dunkin' Donuts as well. Also, we keep some tea on deck. Make sure you got some tea because a lot of people, they may not drink coffee, but they may want some tea or they want some mocha or something like that. So we do um, have like the tea bags, the green tea that we leave out and provide for our guests as well. And also, water. Water, we make sure that our guests have a bottle of water for each guest. We have a bottle of water for them, waiting on them when they get home. We have it nice and cold. And then some people like it room temperature as well, and we'll leave a couple of waters out for our guests. Because we want our guests, like I said, to feel comfortable. We get them access to our refrigerator and everything like that. Also, pots and pans. You want to make sure you got some good quality pots and pans, nothing that's sticking, that's horrible. Um, and remember, most people that come and stay in your Airbnb, they're really not cooking. So you don't need this huge, huge set that you're looking at on the screen, but you may need something um, a little smaller, maybe two pots um, in a pan or something like that. You don't need to go um, be get, get no big old 50 piece set um, for your Airbnb, okay? And then of course, you wanna make sure that you got some nice silverware, some nice, some nice knives, and then wine glasses, we keep about four wine glasses for our guests. And later I'm gonna come back and um, let you know about um, our guest gift. We have a gift that we leave for our guests. Um, so when they check in, it's there waiting on them. So I'm going to do a separate um, Airbnb on that one there and just let you know how do uh, you know how we treat our guests and what we leave for our guests, which I think is very essential as far as your bookings as well. All right, so extra amenities. So if you got a wash and dryer hookup, um, I think this is very helpful and, and for your Airbnb if you have access to that. Um, if you I, well, I'm sorry, I would give my guests access to it. So a lot of times when our Airbnb guests, they book with us, I leave out two wash pads for them so they can wash their clothes if they will decide they want to, you know, wash and dry while they're there. If they're like me and my wife, when we go on vacation, um, most vacation we go on, we normally go on for about seven days for the most part. So, but when we're gone, like on that last day, um, we'll wash our clothes and pack them up and, and we good to go. We go home with clean clothes. Also, Make sure that you provide an iron board and iron. So we make sure, make sure you have that in your closet, whatever closet it is in or wherever you have it, just make sure that we normally leave the closet door open so the guests can see that look, the um, iron and board and iron is here for us to use. Also, a blow dryer. A lot of women, they love the blow dryer. So we make sure that we keep a blow dryer on deck so the women can blow dry their hair as well. And these are essential amenities. Like I said, I, we feel that you should have in your Airbnb so people can make this be their home away from home so they can feel comfortable, so they can feel wanted, they, so they can feel loved. So we're all about providing an experience for our guests. And also, we notice a lot of people, they like the uh, suitcase holder. So I recommend that you get a suitcase holder. I think this is be good for you as well. So when guests coming in, they can uh, put their briefcase on top of this here, um, pack, and we make sure we got plenty of clothes hangers in the uh, closets as well. 
So let's talk about some more amenities that you can have for your Airbnb. If you have a gas grill, a charcoal grill outside, you can give them access to that there. That's up to you, but me personally, we have we let people use it, but we don't provide the charcoal or the propane um, any, or anything like that. They can go get a propane tank or they can fill the propane tank up that we have, okay? So that's one. All right, so as we go on to the next one here, um, fireplace. We give people access to the fireplace as well. And, and honestly, I think since we've been here and since we've been doing our Airbnb, only one family came in and actually used the fireplace. So, but we like to have this amenity as well. So people, like I said, they can sit back, relax, watch a movie in a family room. Plus you got the fireplace there. So you can just really chill and relax. Also, games. We make sure that we keep video games on deck. Now it's ironic. A lot of people they play the games that we have. We leave a lot of you know our games out. We have them in the closet. You got you can choose from like games like Monopoly and Sorry, um, Uno. And ironically, we notice that people always play the board game. So this is something good to have as well, as far as your amenities, as far as the board games where people can come in and enjoy family time and just play some games as well. And then if you have a swimming pool, you can get them access to the swimming pool, but I will caution, caution you that I will make them sign some type of waiver or anything like that because this is a high risk. You don't want nobody drowning on your watch and trying to sue you as well. So, but there are Airbnbs that I have seen out there that get people access to the swimming pool. All right, amenities continue. So this is some ideas that I'm gonna give you. If you got some massage chairs, I probably will advertise my massage chairs. Um, people love massage chairs. Uh, they like to come in and relax and kick back and just chill. Also, if you may want to provide them an experience, they, if you have some 3D movies in your house or 3D television with glasses and stuff like that, well, you may want to add that as one of your amenities uh, when you when people check in to your booking as well to let them know that you had these services available as well because people are not only looking to stay somewhere, but they are looking for an experience in today's world. And aromatherapy, if you got some type of aromatherapy in your house where you got some eucalyptus or some type of nice little flavors um, that people can use like the, the aroma machine that you may have, um, the, what they call them diffusers. If you have a diffuser where people have used, do some aromatherapy, this is always a plus, okay? And this is a big one I've been seeing lately, the theme bedrooms. As you see this one here, it's Clue. So the theme bedrooms is something big with a lot of Airbnb guests now because they get like once again they provide people with an, with an experience. So if you're a person that like Clue, well this is probably Airbnb that you would want to stay in. All right, and as I get ready to close it out, I got some bonus features for you here. So when you if you have a television, I recommend for safety. Not that we have ever had any issues, but I do recommend for safety that you mount your TVs to the wall um, because this kind of deter people if they decide they want to steal your products. Now, I remind you, Airbnb do insure you up to a million dollars, but you don't want to go through that process of calling the police, reporting people for stealing your stuff. Just mount your TV up to the wall and then you can purchase a lock through Amazon as well to lock it as well. So this is a lock that mounts on, on, onto your TV and to the back of your wall as well. So this is good to have to kind of maybe deter anybody from taking anything in your home. So that's all I have for you. This is part two. I will be coming back with part three in a couple of days and we're going to be discussing how to find an Airbnb cleaner. How to find somebody that's going to come in and clean your Airbnb home for you if you don't plan on doing the cleaning. So as I close out, as always, I thank God for his unmerited, undeserved favor called Grace. For Grace is the total absence of any works. You can't work for Grace. You can't buy Grace. You can't sell it. It is simply what God has given to each and every one of us. Because we believe Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day for our justification. On behalf of myself, my lovely wife, Melissa, and contemporary living, be blessed. Have a good night.